I am also a patron, of, as is TV presenter Mick Scarlett. I went into the wheelchair when I was 15, um, so I never actually had that sort of fun bit of driving around on a little sort of hairdryer moped, and I went, um, So I never kind of got into motorbikes the way most people do, like that route. But what happened with me was I went into the chair, um, and actually wearing leather is really clever because it doesn't wear out as quick. When you're in a wheelchair, you end up with mud and rubbish and dog poo all over you from the floor, and you can just wash it off leather, but it... And so you're wearing leather, you go to bike clubs, you go to sort of rock places, and you meet people the biking fraternity who always accept disabled people so much more um, than normal kind of Joe public did and I kind of met all the guys and they were so keen and, and enthusiastic and also they're, like, they're all disabled and they, they knew what they were talking about do you know what I mean they, they were really into their bikes and so anyone I'd come in contact with to try and find the trike before were kind of a bit oh I don't know really mate and these guys knew their onions I never had a go on a bike and then when I did have like a brief dalliance with it, I understood why people would want to be on, you know, use bikes, go biking. And so if you've been a biker and you come off and you injure yourself, it must drive you mad not to know how to get back on one. I mean, a lot of guys say they lose a leg. Um, you know, you can have all your whole equipment put on the foot that works or on your, you know, on your steering, on your steering wheel, on your handlebars. There's a car driver for you. Um, and so it means that you can honestly be learning to drive while you're learning to walk again. And that's, you know, I think that's fantastic. I mean, also, one of the things that not a lot of people understand is when you're disabled, trying to get insurance, it's like trying to find, you know, gold. It's just impossible. And what it must be like to ring up an insurance company and go, hello, I'm disabled, I fell off a bike, now I want to drive a bike. They must just go, <laughs> and these guys know where to go to get you the right people so you don't end up paying through the nose. I've, when I was young and I first went in the wheelchair, you'd spend a lot of time in hospital and a lot of the guys around me had bike accidents. And while they were laying there, I, mean, I remember one guy who had a full body cast on but one arm and he was using this free hand to work out his bike insurance and how much money he'd have so he could buy his next bike. And I think that really demonstrates the mindset of bikers. My advice to anyone that wants to get back to biking after becoming disabled is do it and do it quick. And so if anyone out there it does get a bike, I'll see you on the road.